Hey guys, we're using more back on their kitchen item review. This is on the Pioneer Woman 14 piece knife set. It's uh, purchased at Walmart for about 50 bucks. That's about the going rate for it online, about $50. Don't pay any more than that. All right, so uh, before we begin, as always, please hit the like and subscribe button if you find this review helpful. It really helps me and the channel out as well. If you want to see a testing of these of the uh, signature blade, which is the only real one I actually test out just for sharpness and use ability, go to the very end of the video and there's a basically a test of cutting raw potatoes as well as a set of raw onions just to see basically how sharp they are. But you might not want to or need to after hearing this review. And that is primarily because these knives, the quality control on them is basically crap. Um, Again, it's a budget knife set, so you can only get so mad about it, and I'm obviously not too upset about it because it's within the return window, and I'm going to return these things. But um, as we go through this and as you see the footage, you will see that these knives basically lack a great deal of quality control. In fact, I was so concerned upon inspecting them that at first I thought I might have gotten like a returned item because of the marring, scuffing, and uh, other various marks that were all over the knives, handles, and their blades as well. So here you just see me unboxing it, trying to get these blades out. And the first thing you're going to see is the kitchen blades themselves. I'm sorry, the uh, the steak knives themselves, little six packers. And again, I'll point out at first when I saw these things and started inspecting them a little more closely, I, honest to God, I thought they might have been a returned item, but they were just too well packaged and things were still zip tied in place with that signature knife you see in the background there, along with my Dr. Pepper that proves what a great prepper I am for doing these videos but they still have the little uh, plastic tips on them to protect the points. But they're just, they one, they weren't terribly clean, which wasn't too inspiring, but also, as you, the camera get, won't be in focus for a second, give it a minute, but yeah, once you see this, it's a scuff mark. That's by that little second rivet there, it's scuffed up. It was so consistently scuffed at first, after realizing it definitely wasn't a return, I started to think, okay, maybe the scuffing is supposed to be there. Maybe it's some kind of like rustic look it was going for, but it was too inconsistent. It wasn't along every, not every uh, handle had it, but most of them did. So it couldn't have been that. They were just not well controlled at the factory. I'm sure these things are made in China. It's a budget knife set for 50 bucks, but with the Pioneer Woman label on it, I kind of was expecting something a little higher quality. Uh, I bought other stuff like this for my wife, uh, pots, pans, that kind of stuff, and they tend to be higher quality relative to just the normal $10 China specials, but these are basically just China specials with a Pioneer Woman brand over top of them. And here you can see just some more scuff marks. Again, not consistent. They're just there. And we're going to look at the blade real fast, but here's just some more scuffing. It doesn't really make much sense. This is purely a quality control machining issue. So this is something that should have been polished out at factory, but they didn't want to pay whatever it was, five cents a blade and time and cost in China to do this. The one area I think this uh, set does good with is the style of kitchen shears it uses. These are heavy duty kitchen shears made to cut through like chicken bones and stuff. And they feel a lot more robust than the typical scissor shaped ones. These look more like garden pruners, and they're very heavy duty, and I like them a lot. But again, I'm returning this, so I don't get to keep them unless I want to be dishonest and just keep it and sneak it. But I'm not going to do that. There's just the honer. Base, every knife in here is just a basic knife, but it's a basic knife without any quality control. And as we go through this, you're also going to see scuffing on the blade itself to where I started buffing these things out, thinking maybe I put a fingerprint on it, maybe I scratched it, but no, my hands were clean, everything was fine. It's just, they're just scuffed. They're marked up. This is a factory level issue. They should not have these. You see my fingerprint a little bit if you just caught that for a second, but for the most part, it's just scuffed and scratched. And these are hand wash only, but the problem is hand washing helps protect and keep the blade clean longer, prevents rust spots, everything else. But if you have scuffed blades, that's openings basically for rust to come in. Even though these are steel and they're stainless steel, they can still potentially have surface rust occur simply because they, they're already scuffed up. At this point, I will go ahead and tell you I am not a knife snob. I usually go through about a set of kitchen knives every other year. Um, I tear them apart. I cook with them all the time. Even when I hand wash them, they eventually just start getting a little grody and I want to sharpen them. The, this was kind of the next two years of knives for me and I'm like, I'm, this isn't even worth keeping just because it's, I want it to at least feel new for the first few months I have it and after that, if it's not feeling too new anymore, that's how it goes. But for a budget set of knives, I wouldn't even consider these really for a gift. And again, you can see they got the Pioneer Woman etched on there nice and pretty, 
but um, the handle's scuffed up. There's some, you can't quite see it here, but this knife also had some little scratches on it from the, on the actual blade. Very disappointing overall. And what's probably the funniest about this is I kind of expected, okay, maybe what this block set is is a bunch of rinky-dink China special knives that were cut and just died and put, in to get, put together as fast as they could do it at the Chinese factory, put the Pioneer Woman stamp on it, and then it's that signature blade that's the really nice blade. So you got like a bunch of little $3 knife blades, then you got a $15 knife in there or whatever the equivalent of it is. But no, this knife that I pull out, the signature blade, the Nakiri blade, the Japanese chopping style, like halfway between a Sandoku and halfway to a cleaver, that style of knife. And this is marred up and scratched up as well. So they didn't even put any higher level quality control on the knife that got its own separate box. Now, I will point out these knives are all sharp because they're brand new. I can't tell you how long they stay sharp. I can't imagine they stay sharp terribly long considering how easily they could be scuffed up just at the factory through general production. But they do they are sharp out of the box. They are good to go. You don't got to worry about any nicks or anything. A few of the knives, I will say, had some, like, the blade was a little dinged up and would probably need to be rehoned. But that might, that could just happen anyway. But it was it's just very disappointing to see even this little quote-unquote signature blade, the Nakiri blade that really was supposed to shine and look, hey, you know, all these other knives might suck, but this one's really good. Um, this one ha had the same problem. It was scuffed up in the handle, and in fact, uh, there was a pretty big uh, mar right where the handle meets the blade, a little, uh, little stainless steel piece that connects to those plastic handles right there. You can almost see it the, right on the right-hand side there. Yeah, that's me running, just running, trying to find flaws in it, and they're pretty apparent once you see it in just a moment. But right here, you'll see an image. See those little scuff marks? That's not my finger that did that. Those are just little scuff marks from the factory in China. They just didn't polish them out because that would have cost an extra nickel per knife, and they didn't want to do it. And here you can kind of see the scuff mark on the handle there. That's pretty bad. It's a pretty bad mar, all things considered. And here we'll see the wood block. So at least the wood block looks pretty nice. I mean, it's just a standard wood block. Nothing really special about it. And, you know, it's a Pioneer Woman set, so they could get away with it being not perfect or anything. But it's got a nice little wood burned in there, uh, etched in stamp there. But we'll go through some quick images just of various flaws in these knives. Right there, that's pretty awful. That's just a matter of not polishing. Again, they couldn't afford the nickel per knife to polish things out and make sure it looked nice. How much time would have taken? You see some scuff marks there. Us on the kitchen, the big uh, chef knife. That's all scarred up, and that's going to take polishing to get out. And again, you don't want to have to polish a fifty dollars set of knives. And that's probably the worst part right there. That's on the signature blade. That Nakiri knife. It's got a big old gouge right at the handle. So the quality control at the factory must have just been garbage. I don't know why people were doing this. And I'll stop it there, guys. You've heard me talk enough. Um, don't get these knives. It's not worth your time. There's better knives out there for that price. Um, get a smaller set of higher-end knives if you want to. But you can you can find better stuff out there for considering how much these things cost. And don't basically don't reward this brand for putting out this inferior product. Thank you for watching, and have a great day. The rest of this is just cutting things and a thank you at the end.